When a super empath goes offensive, narcissists won't stand a chance. Narcissists are self-centered people who have a distorted sense of their own importance. In order to feel better about themselves, they elevate themselves while demeaning others. To satisfy their inflated sense of self-importance, they crave positions of authority and influence. They expect respect yet give it little themselves because of a smug attitude of entitlement. Their indifference and superiority complex might make others feel unimportant. Narcissists think highly of themselves, hence they don't see other people as equals but as inferiors. Due to their brash and dominant natures, many individuals view narcissists as a threat. Here, however, are 10 strategies that super empath people use to bring down narcissists. Number 1. Read the minds of narcissists. Super empaths can read between the lines, which means they can figure out what a person is trying to say without saying it directly. They have the special ability to read people's thoughts and understand body language. They can figure out other people's true goals, fears, and insecurities by actively listening to what they say and watching what they do and how they act. When they see a difference between what a person says and what they do, they know that person is lying. Super empaths destroy narcissists because they can read their minds and figure out how they are trying to manipulate them, which turns them off. Number 2. Super empaths reject narcissists' attention-seeking conduct. Narcissists are attention seekers. They are looking for an emotional response from others. They aim to impress, irritate, or provoke people through a variety of ridiculous and illogical actions. Suppose narcissists assess can't get other people's eyes and ears turned toward them by trying to impress them. That's when they resort to negative tactics like being obnoxious or threatening. Super empaths kill narcissists by applying maximal tolerance for their attention-seeking actions. As long as the egotists in question don't pose any kind of bodily threat, they tend to disregard them. When narcissists resort to physical violence against super empaths in order to win their attention, however, these individuals will resort to any and all defensive measures necessary to keep themselves and others around them safe. Number 3. Super empaths reveal the true nature of narcissists. Super empaths may see through a narcissist's facade because of their superior mind reading and body language interpretation skills. They are devastating to narcissists because they reveal the men beneath the masks. Exposure to their true identities is a major source of anxiety for narcissists. They worry that people won't be swayed by their filtered charisma, humor, and charm if they become aware of their ulterior motives. Those who suffer from narcissism work hard to cultivate a positive public image in the hopes of attracting the admiration, respect, and love of others. All their pretense will be for naught, though, if super empaths manage to expose them. Number 4. Super empaths stop narcissists from bragging. Narcissists are self-centered and only care about making themselves look good to other people. They want everyone to know about the good things they have done and the things they have achieved. They do this because they need the cheers to keep going. They want to get praise from other people. Super empaths destroy narcissists by shutting them up when they brag, rejecting their unfounded claims, and pointing out the many differences between what they say and what they do. That's how they fill up their big heads. Super empaths want narcissists to know how hypocritical they are because they don't know how to walk their talk. Narcissists, no doubt, hate it when they have to stop talking in the middle of a long speech. The shame that super empaths have put them through, especially in public, is too much for them to handle. Number 5. Super empaths refuse to feed the needs of narcissists. Establishing and maintaining effective boundaries is a hallmark of a super empath. They know when to turn off their empathy, such as conversing with a known narcissist. Since super empaths are aware of the existence of exploiters and manipulators in society, they figure out how to set boundaries around their generosity so that it isn't taken advantage of. Super empaths destroy narcissists because they are deprived of the narcissistic supply to which they are addicted. They do not intend to let those self-centered individuals use them to satisfy their desires. Number 6. 
a super empath immune to the gaslighting techniques used by narcissists. The basic entities of super empaths are extremely solid. They are completely acquainted with themselves, warts and all, and they love and embrace them all. This is due to the fact that super empaths are always engaging in self-introspection, the act of analyzing one's own feelings and thoughts. Paying attention and listening to their intuition helps them learn about their preferences, limitations, strengths, and potential dangers. This means that no one may take advantage of your vulnerabilities in order to harm your mental health. They are able to take criticism well and only let encouraging remarks into their heads and hearts. Narcissists, on the other hand, lack a solid sense of self due to their inability to accept their narcissistic tendencies. Those people use gaslighting techniques to make others feel less important and less real. Those with exceptional empathy can stop the efforts of narcissists to brainwash them. They'll prove to those narcissists that insults and invalidation don't bother them in the least. If you're an empath, you know how to validate your own thoughts and feelings. You don't need the approval of others to know you're valuable. Narcissists are frustrated when their targets show no emotional response to their gaslighting. Number 7. Super empaths oppose the false sovereignty of narcissists. Narcissists think they're better than other people. They have an ego and feel the need to boast. Narcissists develop an inflated feeling of self-importance, and then strive to exert control over others as if they were their slaves. Because of their superiority complexes, they demand the utmost deference from everyone around them. What a cynical twist of fate. They are trying to order people to perform things they themselves cannot do. Negative narcissists can be destroyed by super empaths who refuse to acknowledge their false sovereignty. One of their most fundamental beliefs is that everyone should be treated equally. As a result, highly empathetic people will always push back against arrogance and haughtiness. Number 8. Super empaths have an innate resistance to the manipulations of narcissists. One of the hallmarks of a super empath is their innate ability to decipher hidden meanings and make sense of patterns in their environment. They have the innate ability to foresee when something potentially harmful is about to occur then they can protect themselves from injury and escape. They are devastating to narcissists because they have an innate resistance to manipulation. They pay close attention to what those narcissists do and say. When super empaths become aware of manipulation, they promptly cut off all communication and distance themselves, foiling the narcissist's evil plans. This leaves narcissists feeling depressed and helpless because they can never seem to con super empaths. Number 9. Super Empaths Act Like Narcissists Too As one of their special abilities, super empaths can take on the traits of those around them. Their high levels of empathy are a key factor in their capacity for mirroring. They acted like a mirror, reflecting the activities of others around them. They feel what other people feel and may thus empathize with them. It's contagious. If they see you crying, they'll start bawling too. Witnessing the joy on the faces of those around them makes them feel good about themselves. The extent to which a super empath is able to duplicate the actions of the person they are observing varies from person to person. Superpowers can serve as examples of bad behavior and teach others a lesson by imitating it. As soon as they start attacking narcissists with passive-aggressive behavior, narcissists will be destroyed because they will begin acting just like narcissists. This is how highly sensitive people act so that egotistical people can feel the full force of the disgust and violence of their own words and actions. This strategy will be an effective roadblock for the narcissist. After faking it for a while, they'll realize that their aggressive and hasty behavior, the very qualities they're trying to project, is what they've been displaying. Number 10. When a narcissist makes a mistake, a super empath will make them pay for it. People who are super empaths tend to be very self-disciplined and moral. For the sake of justice, they will make themselves heard. Since fairness is so important to them, they can't ignore the deliberate actions of those around them. Negative narcissists will be destroyed as a result of their relentless pursuit and punishment. 
Until those egotists get what they're due, super empaths won't be able to relax. They'll speak up for people who are too timid to challenge the narcissists on their own. How empathetic are you? Have you tried any of the discussed strategies for dealing with narcissists? What other strategies do you employ to halt the evil strut of those narcissists beyond those mentioned here? Do you get a rush when you exact your revenge on a narcissist? Is there any interest in this video? Don't be shy to share your thoughts in the comment below. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video.